Let's talk about the upper soul. Let's talk about the upper soul. So, Wendy and her matchmaking, yeah, unfortunately for us, this is going to last a long time for us. We got to watch Wendy pick between Trip and Johnny. She liked them both. She didn't kiss them both. But she still can't make a decision on which one she want. Then on top of it, she go to her newly divorced brother. And basically he tell her, you're not doing nothing wrong. Make your choice. Pick the best option for you. Keep selecting and keep choosing. Find out your, find out what, what, whatever the hell he said. I, I forgot what he said. Keep your options open for both of them and see which one works out the now, Lee, I'm gonna let you slide because you knew you newly divorced. You newly divorced. You just got them papers from Gabby today. I'm gonna let you slide telling your sister she ain't doing nothing wrong. Basically, pick and choose which one you want. Take your time. There's no, there is a rush. She didn't kiss both men. She basically told these men and ten words or less she liked them enough to go to go to the next round, which is the second base in sense. But she can't seem to pull herself to have in sense. And you telling her to take her time. She almost had sex with Trip. She then almost attempted several times to have sex with Johnny. And we still taking our time. And we still picking and choosing. We still playing the option game. We still say, is door number one good for me? Is door number two good for me? Are we still playing? I hate when they have these kids on here playing these types of games. Wendy, if you don't have to pick a choice, you done kiss both of them. You done almost had sex with both of them. You done had this attempt almost several times with Johnny. You done had it once with Trip in Seattle. You just you, you just like playing the field, huh? Listening to your brother. And your brother should have had enough common sense to tell you, no, Wendy, that is wrong. Go ahead and make your decision. Stop making them way. So, basically, you trying to see which one can sweep you off your feet the best, huh? That's basically what you're doing. You know, Johnny got the money, but you kind of scared there. And you also know Trip. He also have a whole lot of potential, and he's also a doctor. But, I guess the part where you messed up at is, he's in Seattle, Johnny in Salem. So, you don't know which S you want, and you don't know which man you want, basically, at this point. And, Wendy, I didn't talk about you for three minutes, and I'm already tired of talking about you. I'm ready to get to the real reason while I'm here on the Tuesday, and it's not for you. But anyways, though, let's move on. Nicole, I'm about sick of you, too. You gonna have to come clean sooner or later. You can try to hold on, hold on to this life for dear life. You can sit there and try to hold on it, hold on it with both hands till you till you lose your grip. Keep holding. You gonna end up falling. You gonna fall just like um Talia and um Colin fell. Keep right on trying to hold on for your life. I don't know why you just won't come clean. I mean, it's not bad. You didn't tell the man you had sex with Eric. Now you pregnant. Now you running around here taking pills. Telling EJ, oh, they're nothing. They're just my menopause pills. So we playing the menopause game. Now when menopause do hit your behind, you're going to wish you wouldn't have lied. Oh, okay. Menopause is the MF, and I can't wait till it hits you. Since you want to play the menopause game, let's play the menopause game. I hope it come early, and I hope that he tear you apart. Since you want to sit there and lie and blame it on the menopause. Besides telling that man the truth. And then on top of it, EJ fed you a whole line of BS, and you fell right into the trap. EJ was trying to outmaneuver Gabby and Stefan. Stefan know what he doing. You don't know what you doing. So to get the attention off of Gabby and Stefan and possibly running the company, he decides, oh wait, I can marry you. Then on top of it, he tells you he loves you. 
How many times would they be down this love bro with EJ and Nicole? And how many times had Nicole then lied to EJ over several years and several months? How many times had they been divorced, married, single, day in kissing, having How many times? Nicole, I thought you was a little bit more smarter than that, but it's obvious that pregnancy got you jacked up in your feelings. How can you fall for that? I like how you kind of went back with it when he proposed a question and then you call him an idiot in a moron and that he doing that just to try to outmaneuver Stephen. I like how you got that, but once he told you he loved you, oh, you took a step back and said, oh, you love me? Well, I don't love you like that. That man man maneuvered you into the right mood. You hear his chest piece and you hear you hear his chest piece piece and he finna move you all the way around the board to win, to try to win. So, Nicole, you fell for the okie doke. I hope you prepared and ready for it because he is for the play you like a chess move and he gonna try to win. Dummy, you fell right into that hole. I thought you had enough sense when you got on his behind about him proposing to him getting on one knee. He ain't got the rock. He ain't ready. Y'all just started dating, freshly dating all of a sudden. Now y'all talking about marriage after all the stuff y'all done been through in the past. And all of a sudden, now he want to marry you. If you don't see that's a chess move, you know what? Play crazy. Play dumb, play foolish. I like to watch you fall on your face with your book of lies anyways. Go ahead and fall. Fall for it, fall deep. This don't hurt yourself, but fall. Go ahead and fall. I'm going to go ahead and let you slide and I'm going to let you fall. Go ahead and fall for it. If you didn't see that was great game EJ spit on you, go right on ahead and fall for it. Enjoy it. Have fun. The lie gonna come out and we, EJ gonna find out that you pregnant. You can't hide that belly. So what you gonna do? Tell EJ you didn't gain weight all of us. I'm waiting for the BS with you. So I'm here for it. Anyways though, let's get here to the main reason why I'm here. Talia, Colin, Sloan, Chanel, and Pauline. Now, when we were first introduced to these peoples, I was kind of hesitating on how would this end? How can they spice and pump things up? Well, apparently, some writers and somebody put some creative juices in, in Dave's heads, the Dave's writer's head, and they came up with something spent, well, I ain't going to say spectacular, but you know what? It was a good June. It was a good May in it to June. Um, I wasn't expecting it to end the way it ended with both of them falling over the roof and falling off the roof and then Sloane and Eric happened to be in the Horton Times Square where she saw her brother fall to his death. Well, fall thinking he was to his death, but he survived somehow. I guess somehow, by the grace of God, he survived that fall. Don't know how he su survived it and talking and, you know, able to talk about that he wanted them to pay and he survived him and tell you. Um, I thought it was going to be a shootout. Matter of fact, I thought he was kind of kind of get his little revenge because he wanted Paulina to jump to her death. Then he said, nah, that wasn't good enough. Chanel got int introduced into the mess. Then Chanel came trying to save her mama. Then he said, you know what? Now you get to watch her go. So that didn't turn out. So then he pulled the gun out on them. Here come Talia and here come Jada. Um... Talia, you the hero, but that don't mean you gonna get away scot-free. I mean, yeah, you did your big one there. Um, yeah, you kind of risked your life and limb and your hurt arm, but that's not gonna save you at all. I mean, this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for you. You kind of let this man manipulate you 
and they're doing that mess with the poison of the biscuits, the threatening letters, the threatening text messages, getting claws, and then he wanted you to then he wanted you to seduce um Chanel. I mean, you are involved in this just as deep as he is. The only problem is he have a shark as a sister. Where's your shark at? You might end up getting saved by being the hero. Even though Chanel says you're nobody hero, you might end up getting saved being the hero. Even though you're not really the hero, you kind of did save the day. You got in front of the gun. Y'all sat there and played the little swing, and then y'all both went swinging over that rooftop. You kind of saved the day, but. I don't think that's enough to try to save you. You never know when it comes to slow Satan PD. They might say that you saved the day. I'm trying to figure out where the hell your shark is. And how are you going to get from under these charges. We already know trash wants your head on the silver platter. That drugging. Oh baby she ain't letting it go. She's not letting it go, and quite frank, and quite frankly, I don't blame her. You drug the whole, you drug half the town of Salem. Had to meet the throwing up right here, doing wild thoughts and wild things. Then on top of it, it's just like Paul, um, Chanel and Paulina. They getting right here, getting harassed and bothered and tortured. I still don't understand why Paulina didn't have a gun by the end, but. That's another story for another day. I'm trying to figure out how y'all survived that foul. Second of all, look like Tal Young got a broken arm out of the whole thing, and basically Colin got the worst part of it. And y'all able to talk, and poor Abe had to have surgery on his head. Abe having seizures. You know what? Screw Po y'all and Po Po Pauline and Po Chanel. What about Po Abe, the old man that they got bumped upside the head and he had to have a whole surgery just to take care of himself? It's just like, come on, like I was expecting something good, but I wasn't expecting something this good. I mean, I'm ready for the next moves. I was going to do this yesterday. It ended up happening today. So, you know what? I'm glad I waited. Because it would have been a two video, not one video. So, it's just one besides two. So, I'm trying to figure out, Colin, you're not getting away. Sloan good, but she's not that good. I mean, she can get you out of some of your troubles. But yeah, once the police go in there and sweep your room, they're going to find that phone. Or once they go through your stuff, they're going to end up finding that phone, finding them um dumb keys. I mean, like everything points to y'all. Ray still lost and confused. Yelling at Eric thinking it's still shit, um, slow, not realizing it's Colin and Talia, the one that's doing all this. Eric, I don't know what your head thinking right now. I don't know what you're going to do. I'm guessing you're going to try to talk slow out of not helping her brother, but you ain't going to stop her. That's her brother. That's blood. You just a boyfriend. Yeah. She want to help her brother. She going to help her brother. And there's no stopping that buddy. So good luck trying. And you can try all you want to. But I don't think you going to end up stopping all that. And um. Yeah. You're not going to stop all that buddy. I mean. You can try. But I highly doubt you're going to get anywhere with that. And I highly doubt that. You're going to bust the right move to do that. Uh, yeah, you ain't going to get nowhere with that. 
Just like she lied to you about the whole pregnancy with Nicole and Nicole pretending that she don't know who the father is. Just like you didn't lie to that man saying that you didn't know your brother was in town. And then you went back and told on yourself and said, I didn't know he was in town, but I didn't know what he was doing. Yeah, Eric, you're not going to say, but well, she's going to help her brother. And quite frankly, I wouldn't blame her. I'm a brother. I'm a high-powered lawyer. Why wouldn't I want to help my relative? Even though he was wrong, that's fine. Family, regardless so she gonna help her brother Eric you can try all you want to you ain't gonna stop that but anyways though y'all that was the episode don't forget to like share comment and subscribe I'll see y'all later enjoy the rest of y'all day night have a good weekend have a have a lovely day and I'll catch y'all later bye